It's the health craze that's seen a 400% sales increase in supermarkets in the last 18 months. But what is it about kefir milk that makes it such an attractive option? Uh, and is it really that good for our it's health? It's not that attractive. We've both tried it. It's um, Even looking at it now, it's making me feel a bit funny. Although, I know it's very good for you. We're joined by Liz L to explain the science behind the drink. Hi, Liz. I mean, this is not for the faint-hearted, is it, this one? This is, you know, this very few things I think are real superfoods, but this is one and it's worth persevering with. But you just got to get it right because we know that the good gut bugs affect our immunity. That's really important at the moment. We know that they affect mental health. They talk to the brain. So it's, it is worth getting to grips with and you can buy it, but you can also make your own. It's, it's really easy to do. OK, so what is it, first of all, Kafir? So basically, if you're going to make it, you need kefir grains. That's what it starts with. So you can buy these online. There are lots of different versions around. They always say when you're making kefir that you should use wooden, so like a wooden spoon rather than metal. And this is what the yogurt grains look, actually look like, the kefir grains. They're kind of like cottage cheese, oh. okay? And they smell a bit fermented, so they haven't gone off. So if you get them, it's worth labelling it in the fridge so that your family don't come in and go, ooh, what's this, and chuck it out, because it's meant to smell like that, OK? So what you do is you put it in a glass jug, you put your grains, and then you put your milk on top, and you can use any kind of milk, but obviously the better quality the milk, the better quality the kefir. So I've got some just some whole organic milk. And then you just stir it and you leave it. You leave it for 24 to 48 hours in a nice warm kitchen, oh, so you don't put no. it in the <laughs> And lo and behold, these little gut bugs work their magic and they turn it into this, it's like supercharged yogurt. You know, if you imagine yogurt wearing Superman underpants, that's what kefir is. And then once you've made it, then you can keep it in the fridge and chill it. And then you, your grains grow and you, you take the grains out, you strain them, you can use a plastic strainer like this, and then you do it again. So you just carry on doing it again and again and again. How it's long really would that cheap. jug glass for? Say if you made that up, so you've left it on the kitchen side for 40 hours and yeah. you put it in the fridge. How much are you meant to have of that a day? And how long will well, that I last for? I drink something like this amount a day. So I drink a small tumbler full. And you can give it to the whole family. You can use it on things like granola or cereals. You can make kefir ice cream. You know, if you're having fruit and yogurt, you can have fruit and kefir instead. You can stir it into soups and sauces. It doesn't like getting too hot, but it doesn't mind being cold. So it's really good. You can freeze it. As I say, you can make like a kefir yogurt ice. So many different things. And you don't need a lot of it because each spoonful contains literally billions of beneficial good bugs that are so good for our overall health and our immunity. So quite important right now. I, um, I, I took it for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks mm. and weeks. I mean, every morning I dreaded it because it was so vile to hold your nose. Mm -hmm. And it's, it was just rancid. But um, the, the, what, what does it actually do for me? Because I'm going to be honest... And it might have just been me, but I didn't notice a massive amount of difference from what I was putting myself through. Well, maybe you've got fabulous beneficial bacteria in your microbiome already, because what it's doing is it's repopulating your gut bacteria. And we know that the more variety of good gut bugs we have, the better. So in, in terms of helping our immunity, mental health, there's this vagus nerve that links the gut to the brain. And they've shown that people who have a really well populated microbiome are better able to resist diseases and mental health is improved, mood, anxiety levels can drop. So lots of really interesting things. Also, people with good gut bacteria tend to be slimmer and find it easier to lose weight. So, you know, adding something yes, in... You and I have no doubt about that. So let's we've got some in front of us here now, which are ones that you can buy if you don't fancy making it yourself. Should we start at the kind of more liquidy end? Because I think that's kind of ease our way into it. So, well, if you start with the Polish one, there's oh. one with the green... I was hoping okay. we'd run out of time so before we got to that. <laughs> that's that, that's <laughs> that end, right. OK. What is this one? Uh, so, the Polish one is... That's the original one. So, you can get those in... I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm Polish not going to be able to do it. That's strong, OK? It's quite so that's hard to get up the straw, if I'm honest. You might have to spoon it. Spoon All right, so it. go... OK, so the next it does, one... It tastes... Now. I mean, the thing is, it just tastes off. It tastes like something you'd pour out the fridge and go, I've just ruined a perfectly good cup of tea. Look at the lumps in it. OK. But how much of that do you need to drink? The whole thing? 
No, you could just have a spoonful if you really don't like it. Like a shot. But do you know, you have to get a taste for it. How does Little it survive? Bit. How does it survive the acid process in your stomach before it actually gets to where it's supposed to be going? Well, interestingly, if it's kefir made with animal milk then the proteins, the animal proteins, tend to protect it so it can go further down into the intestines before it's broken down. Right, and it's just so full of beneficial bacteria. It's got billions and billions of them. So you only need a, a small amount to actually make it through. No. So this one's scaring me because the straw just stands directly up at it. <laughs> um, the biotical one should be more liquid, like this. It's OK. So is that the biotical? Because this is quite... It just tastes like yogurt, actually. Actually, tastes this better. one is better. Tastes better, that, but it's, That's all right. it's way too thick to suck up a straw. That's good. Okay. And it, does that mean it's not as good for me as the, as the bad boy at the end? I, it will have different strains of bacteria. For me, I like to buy lots of different ones and kind of mix them together because then you're getting different strains of bacteria. That's I can all right. do that one. I can do that. I can do that one. Yeah, like that um, one. OK, try the flavoured one, because now what they're doing is they're doing varieties that are more for kids. This is flavoured with turmeric, so it's a bit sweeter. It's got mango in it, which is I naturally that. really yeah. sweet. That's nice. That's yeah. all right. So that might be good. That's like a beginner's, beginner's version. And, and then again, you can work is that your... because that means it's not that good? I always think of it... It's got sugar in, so look at the sugar content. Just having a little But, learn. you know, any bacteria that's the beneficial form like this is going to be good so you can work your way up and if you want to stay with that one that's fine but you can move up to the hard could stuff I, but could, it, could I the, mix like, a little bit of the polish one into good. the mango one that is a really top idea why don't you put a teaspoon that's of that got in half the sugar of that one right what's the third one Fourth one. Your own cocktail. And then this one. so this is like a water kefir so technically see okay you're going to mix it in Give it a stir, see what happens. This is great. What's this? This is like, this tastes like ginger ale almost. This is new range, Aqua de Madre. I really like them. This has got like trillions of beneficial bacteria in it. Now it's technically not kefir because it's not made with milk, but it's a fermented water. So it's like a probiotic kefir drink. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh dear. <what's> <laughs> it's definitely active. <laughs> It's very lively, but that is a good sign. That means that it, it is active, that there's something going on in the bottle. <laughs> I <laughs> love that. It. I like that. Oh. That's really nice. The OK, little... so it... there's good ones. That's fine. I'm um, not sure about the oh, chunky stuff, but... You can give it to the kids, you know. Give it yeah, to the kids yeah. instead of a fish drink. Exactly, exactly. Um, Liz, thank you, Liz, thank you very much. Fascinating. Really good. I'm going to try gonna... and bring that back into my life. Mm. I think yeah. it's good. Yeah, yeah. no, I'll give it a go. Yeah. Now, there are, now there's some acceptable ones. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Liz.